Hey everybody, Congressman Stewart here. You know, for most of my time in the military, it was defined by the first Gulf War. And then after that, we were tasked with enforcing no-fly zone over Iraq. And that went on for years and years, constant deployments, constant time in the area. It gave you a real appreciation for the delicacy, for the urgency, for the danger, and for the challenges of projecting US power overseas, particularly in such a difficult, such a tumultuous region. And, um, and many of us look back on that and we realize not only how difficult it was, but how important it was. But after a while, we kind of moved on and the nation kind of moved on and it became less important and people kind of quit thinking about it. We thought we'd won that war and that it was over. And we didn't need to think about the region very much or think about it very often. And then after that, shortly after that, I was no longer in the Air Force. In fact, I had just barely separated. And I was mostly a writer and spending my time writing books, but I also owned a, a business and I was driving to my business early in the morning and, you know, listening to the news as we drove. And I heard a news report about, hey, there was an airplane that crashed into the World Trade Center. And, and the first they reported, as some of you may remember, they thought it was probably a small Cessna. Well, as a pilot, I thought, that's nearly impossible. There's no way, short of the pilot having, you know, maybe a medical incident or some, you know, severe disorientation, that you would fly into a tower like that by mistake. And then shortly after that, they reported another uh, airplane flying into the towers. And of course, we all knew that we were at war once again. And that we were at war in a place that was very difficult and very challenging. What I don't think that many of us saw is that this was something that would last for so long. Trillions of dollars, thousands of American lives, and the blood and the treasure that we would spend over the next generation trying to change the world, trying to secure America's freedom, and trying to bring stability to a part of the world that doesn't have much of it, but the good people there deserve it. Well, we're now kind of at the end of that phase. And as we begin to look at the heartbreaking incidents that surround us, as we looked at Afghanistan and asking some of these questions. But this one thing I know, those soldiers who sacrificed in Iraq or in Afghanistan because of that horrific incident on 9-11, their sacrifice has not been in vain. They protected America and American security for the last generation. We are so grateful for them, their sacrifice, the things that they have given up and their families have given up will never be forgotten, just like we will never forget what happened that morning on 9-11. Thank you.